So it's about time we revisited the rules of the game, subhanAllah. How can someone want to play football when they don't even know the rules of the game? Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much. You're about to get to 13,000 subscribers and that's really really amazing and uh hope everybody's safe everybody's taking care of themselves and yeah i mean thank you so much for giving us even uh, uh just going to the comment section below and just giving us suggestions and uh to the videos that we are reacting to you guys are super amazing and yeah hope everybody's been fine and we want to thank everybody who have been giving us suggestions on the video that we are reacting to you guys are amazing and also for the people who are giving us information like um critical information or maybe uh, informative kind of comments and whatnot you guys are super amazing too so today we're going to do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people as, as usual and uh they suggest that we should go react to this brings tears to the heart so yeah let's find out what brings tears to the heart without any further ado guys let's get it the world can become a better place people can start studying they can start seeing they can ask questions what a great opportunity allah gave us this is what's supposed to be the quality of a muslim may allah make us good muslim in. and i'm sure it's happened to a lot of us but my brothers and sisters, the worst from amongst us is he or she who behaves in a way that those who already have a not so bad impression of Islam start having a worse impression of Islam. Then we have done a disservice not only to ourselves and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well, and the deen at large and every other Muslim on the globe. So we call ourselves good Muslim and then we complain about the image of Islam on the globe when we have contributed towards it. Imagine. So it's about time we revisited the rules of the game, subhanAllah. How can someone want to play football when they don't even know the rules of the game? And this brings me to a powerful point. If you want to be a good Muslim, you need to know revelation. You need to know what Allah wants from you. And you need to know it. It's not good enough to say, well, you know, I was born a Muslim and uh, it's okay, I pray five times a day. Islam is not just about praying five times a day. There are so many people who pray five times a day, but their lives are upside down. They lead their lives like the worst of people. But one thing that happens, they pray five times a day. So there is a hadith of a bankrupt person. And the description of that person is he who comes on the day of judgment with so much good deeds. But because of having usurped the rights of so many others, all these good deeds shall be distributed to other people. And this person is left with no good deeds. And still there are people who are saying, he's usurped my rights. Until their bad deeds are made to be shown it by him. And then he is cast into hellfire. May Allah protect us. So this is why we say, let us not reduce Islam to just a faith that we should be proud about during Ramadan. Once Ramadan goes, it's over. Everything goes, our dress code goes, all the music CDs come back into our cars and we are bouncing with the, with the vehicle. Yesterday we were driving on the road. I thought we had a broken earthquake and I noticed all the youngsters. May Allah protect us. You know the sound you're hearing right now in the stadium? SubhanAllah. I think it was sound that was perhaps more than that. The ground was vibrating. And it was just a vehicle crossing. And I looked at them and I said, Ya Allah, I hope these people, Allahu Akbar, I hope these people can replace those discs one day with that which is beneficial by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant us goodness and ease. But we are guilty. We sometimes think that you got you to be a Muslim when you enter the masjid. So when you enter the masjid, mashallah, people come in and they read their salah. When they go out, they are frowning. They are frowning at the rest of their brothers and sisters. This is a serious crisis and I have noticed it. Some people who claim to be more religious, their attitude stinks, believe me. 
It smells so bad you want to block your nose. Allahu Akbar. Some people who claim to be so religious, believe me, you'll find a man dressed so appropriately. And mashallah, he looks like he is such a, a religious person, but when he, he looks at you with the eyes and he, he's gritted his teeth and you greet him, salam alaikum, and he just. You come to Africa, even the lions don't do that. They'll smile at you. Amazing. Yes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, really. Really. It's sad, it brings tears to the heart to see people who are supposedly good. Sometimes people have complained, sisters have complained of other sisters and they say, you know, some of the sisters who are supposedly outwardly so religious, they have an attitude, they don't even want to greet, they don't even want to look at the other sisters, they don't even want to make them feel at home. And this is why there are people who entered the fold of Islam and reverted after a long time. And sometimes they look at their sisters, and I'm talking here of the sisters in particular. And then nobody turns to them, nobody lends them an ear, nobody gives them any importance. And they feel, wow, I was far better off at the church. It's happening. Is that what a good Muslim is? We allow racism to overtake us? Impossible. Give more time to people of another race. Believe me, you will help yourself be a better Muslim. Did you hear what I just said? Give more time to people of another race. You will help yourself be a better Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength. Wow, that was amazing. I mean, the message is just clear and um, so, so nice. <clears throat> Man, oh, I mean, it, it kind of like brings tears to your, uh, to the heart or something. Because when you look at today's uh, religions or probably people who are calling themselves religious people, um, I'm not saying all of them. I mean, there are a couple of them that they think that since I'm religious, uh, I can I can I can look down upon the people who are no probably more religious than me. You get it? I can uh, subject myself to be more uh, closer to God than you, so I can mistreat you. Maybe put a racism card on you or probably just look at you like you're nothing you get it but that's not the point the point is instead of looking at that person like that why don't you share a word uh, to encourage that person you understand why don't you just make friends why don't you just try be with somebody and uh, try figure out how they are living how how um, what they are doing what what is it that they, that they are interested in you get it I mean you can get to learn a lesson from somebody who's not even religious or somebody who's not even like closer to God as opposed to these religious people you get it I mean um, judgment judging others uh, through religious perspective or through religion or try and look into somebody that hey I'm going to church you're gonna I'm going to church you're not going to go to church that makes you a bad person you get it it shouldn't be like that you know um you never know maybe that person who doesn't go to church maybe he's a person who is who hasn't done anything but but it's just that maybe um he's not well informed about uh the religious aspect or not so why don't you try and maybe educate or maybe just try to learn and understand how he or she lives and probably from there you can try to put one or two words but don't force it in you get it i mean the whole point is uh let us not try and look down 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 people who are are not religious and trying to acclaim yourself that you are the best since you go to church every Sundays or maybe you go to the mosque every Fridays or maybe you pray five times every day I mean that should be an exception I mean you shouldn't be thinking like that let's be people who are rational thinkers and people who are able to 
uh, see things in a bigger perspective or in a broader picture so that we can at least educate other people, try to inform our um, uh, the people who you feel that they need your word the most or you feel that they need uh, you know just to be friends and all those kind of things anyway such an amazing message I was really amazed just let me know in the comment section what do you think about the message or what do you think maybe I've just uh, interpreted in, in the wrongest way maybe you have uh, a better explanation on how but this is how I'm trying to interpret it and I feel like it's such an amazing message that people out there should know and should understand they get it because let us not be people who are looking down upon other people who are not religious especially uh, the so-called people who are so religious and uh, yeah I mean let's let's try to be mindful let's try to be mindful and yeah and if you feel like I reacted to the video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section below so let us know what you think about the video just let me know what you think about the video did you uh, get something from it do you feel like um, there's something that you missed from it or do you feel like uh, what I actually reacted on is a, is a, is is appropriate or something like that just let me know in the comment section below and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you rather i'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out